Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. In this video, I got something that I guarantee you guys are going to love, especially if you're a big Los Angeles Lakers fan. We're going to be talking about the Lakers offseason and talking about one point guard that right now, I believe they must target because he just became available. And by reading the title, you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. We're going to be talking about Spencer Dinwiddie going to the Lakers, Jordan LeBron James and Anthony Davis as their new starting point guard. I believe Spencer is one of the best under the radar point guards in the NBA, and when he's put in the right situation, he could easily excel. And with the Lakers having some money they could spend, Dinwiddie could be their guy. So if you're a big Lakers fan and you like this scenario and want to know how it could happen, you're going to love this. But quickly before I get on with the video, I just want to say if you're new to the channel and you love basketball, welcome to Easy Buckets. My name is Soom and I make basketball videos every single day. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched this video and you loved it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. It would help out the channel a lot. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about Spencer Dinwiddie to the Lakers. Um, extremely. You know, anytime you, you get a little bit of a taste of success, but you know that there's so much more to go. Um, you're going to be excited to try to push that boundary, push that limit, and, and achieve everything that you possibly can. After missing the entire 2021 season due to an ACL injury, everybody just wants to see Dinwiddie back on the floor. From what NBA trainers and doctors are saying, Spencer's injury is doing very well. He was actually supposed to play in this year's NBA Finals. But of course with the Brooklyn Nets losing to the Bucks in Game 7 this year, we will not be seeing Dinwiddie at all this season. From what we are expecting, Dinwiddie is going to be fully healthy for the 2022 season and with that being said, we are getting some crazy reports of what will happen with his future. I mentioned it earlier in my intro that I believe Dinwiddie is one of the best under the radar point guards in the NBA and what I mean by that is that he's not an all-star player but he's one of the better point guards, the more reliable, one of the best and smarter point guards and we've seen it in the past how good he could be. When talking about this season, Dinwiddie only averaged about 6 points but he only played a few games this season so I don't even want to talk about that. I want to talk about Dinwiddie's stats last season, in the 2020 season, when Spencer Dinwiddie literally broke out. When talking about last season, Dinwiddie averaged about 20.6 points per game, 3.5 rebounds, 6.8 assists, 0.6 steals, and 0.3 blocks, and he was the pillar, the point guard, while Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving basically weren't active. With that being said, the Brooklyn Nets actually made the NBA playoffs, they became the second seed in the Eastern Conference, but of course with them not being healthy, they didn't make it far and of course got eliminated in the first round. Despite them not being successful in the postseason, the point I'm trying to make is that Spencer Dinwiddie, without superstars of Kyrie and Kevin Durant, led a bad Brooklyn Nets team to a playoff spot and also was the reason why they were pretty good. And that's why every NBA fan and NBA player respects Spencer Dinwiddie and simply believe he could be a very important piece going forward in the NBA. And with the possibility of Spencer Dinwiddie becoming a free agent soon, so many NBA teams have been very vocal on saying they are interested. The reason why I'm making this video today is because we got a crazy report regarding Dinwiddie today by Adrian Woj. This is what he tweeted. As expected, Brooklyn Nets guard Spencer Dinwiddie plans to decline the $12.3 million player option on his 2021-2022 contract and become an unrestricted free agent. So let's just tell ESPN. He has a Monday deadline. Dinwiddie missed most of the season with an ACL injury. Guys, this is an absolute big tweet because he's going to be a UFA, an unrestricted free agent, which basically means he can sign with any team that he wants. And with so many NBA teams looking for a new starting caliber point guard, I do have one team in mind that I simply believe would be perfect. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Los Angeles Lakers. Spencer Dinwiddie would be an absolute perfect fit. When talking about the Lakers this year, it was very, very sad to see them lose in the first round of the playoffs. We all wanted to see them go back to the NBA Finals and maybe defend their NBA Championship. But with the Lakers now eliminated, they are focusing a lot on their offseason and making moves ahead. LeBron James, Rob Plinka, and Frank Vogel have been very vocal on saying they are going to make moves this summer. Big moves, even small time moves. And in my opinion, getting Spencer Dinwiddie is a big time move that would simply affect them in the championship conversation. 
But talking about their current starting point guard of Dennis Schroeder, he is also a UFA this summer. And from what we're hearing, Dennis Schroeder does not want to re-sign with the Lakers. And if that doesn't happen, they need a new starting point guard. And this is where Dinwiddie comes in. The Lakers just offered Dennis Schroeder a four-year $80 million contract extension where Dennis actually declined it. And because Dennis wants more money, the possibility of him walking is very, very possible. But I do believe with Dinwiddie coming off a $10 million player option contract, getting paid about $20 million a year might not be a bad idea. In my personal opinion, a very healthy Dinwiddie is better than Dennis Schroeder and maybe offering Spencer that contract. That exact same deal of a four-year $85 million deal would simply get Spencer to accept. Of course, with Dinwiddie just coming off an injury, some NBA teams might offer him a lot of money. Maybe the Lakers might be hesitant as well. So maybe giving him at least more money than his previous contract might attract Dinwiddie, but the Lakers know what they're doing. LeBron James definitely need a starting caliber point guard, and with the Lakers needing one, Spencer could kind of rejuvenate his career. The first and most easiest way for the Lakers to get Spencer is simply through free agency, where the Lakers don't sign Dennis Schroeder and then sign Spencer instead. But we just got another report today and it was kind of big, and this was it. Lakers discussed trading Kyle Kuzma for Spencer Dinwiddie at the NBA trade deadline. When talking about this upcoming offseason, the Lakers have been very vocal on saying they plan on trading Kyle Kuzma, and if Kyle Kuzma is on the move, I do see him potentially being traded to the Brooklyn Nets in a potential sign trade situation. The Nets were engaged in talks at the deadline with the Warriors that would have sent the point guard of Dinwiddie to Golden State or to the Lakers for Kuzma, wrote net income of Nets Daily. This is a big report because it basically says the Lakers already have interest in Spencer Dinwiddie and they were willing to already sacrifice Kyle Kuzma, who was playing pretty decent at the NBA trade deadline, but of course, with Kuzma playing horrible in the NBA playoffs, the Lakers are trying to load him off. And with Kyle Kuzma right now being on a very affordable contract, the Nets could afford him, but also lose Spencer Dinwiddie, but get something in return. A fun fact to know is that this year, the Nets have bird rights on Spencer Dinwiddie, which means they can technically go over the salary cap to sign Dinwiddie and re-sign him, but if Dinwiddie has no interest in staying, they could do a sign and trade, where this Kyle Kuzma rumor comes back in action. With the Lakers already being vocal on saying they want Spencer Dinwiddie, I do believe it is a big possibility for them to maybe get him in free agency, but of course, a worse situation is doing a sign and trade where Kyle Kuzma is involved. Last season, we all witnessed it. Spencer Dinwiddie could carry the starting point guard position and with LeBron James and Anthony Davis needing somebody that can kind of play in the spotlight, step up to the plate and get a new opportunity where they have to shine, Dinwiddie is a perfect player. Dinwiddie is a great scorer, a great catch and shoot player, a great playmaker and more importantly for his size at point guard of 6'5", he's pretty big and can simply be great defensively as well. If Dinwiddie leaves the Brooklyn Nets, I would love to see him on the Lakers. With the Nets right now basically having a backcourt combo of Kyrie and James Harden, Spencer Dinwiddie would simply be a way staying there. So going somewhere where he can shine and develop his career, I believe would be the best scenario for his situation. So yes guys, this wraps up my video for today, talking about Spencer Dinwiddie and simply why I believe he would simply be perfect on the Los Angeles Lakers. What's most important to me is I want to know your thoughts. Do you believe Dinwiddie is a great target or do you believe there are other players the Lakers must target? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. But other than that, take it easy. God bless. And I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo!